Good morning, today is July 4th, 2022, and this is your daily weather update. Now as we take a look at the Atlantic Basin here, we luckily have no tropical cyclones expected to form across the entire Atlantic, and uh, also no disturbances, so luckily we will be able to celebrate this 4th of July day without any worry about tropical cyclones anywhere in the Atlantic. Now it is a little bit of a different story here in the Pacific Ocean as we do have Hurricane Bonnie right here um, off the coast of Mexico right here and it does look like we could be seeing some impacts to the Mexican coast during the next uh, few days. So here's the current forecast for Hurricane Bonnie. Now as you can see we do have a, um, it is actually expected to continue to be a hurricane all the way into the next five days here although it will gradually weaken as it does head north. Although slight strengthening is possible all the way up until about Tuesday. Um, that's when we could be seeing some development, possibly slight strengthening up to around two, uh, 125 miles per hour potentially, although we will have to watch this. But the good news is that no direct impacts to land are expected. Although there is a risk that we could be seeing tropical storm force winds across the western Mexican coastline in uh, these indicate areas over here. If this storm does take a very northward track. So if it does head generally more this way, we could be seeing some of those tropical impacts to the coast. Although it's looking more likely that it will potentially miss the coast. So hopefully we will not be seeing any major tropical impacts to Mexico, especially during the next few um, days as we recently just had a hurricane impact on the Mexican coast and additional impacts would just add insult to injury honestly i mean just something we don't want to see um now as we move on to our u.s weather uh we currently have a slight risk for severe weather across portions of the dakotas as well as minnesota and also a slight risk in the great lakes region uh region here so um definitely gonna watch out um some of the direct states impacted is South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, um, Minnesota, Michigan, Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin. Uh, you're all in the area which could potentially be seeing um, some severe thunderstorms. And if we do take a look at the models here, this is in the um, Midwestern United States here. It, we, it doesn't really do have the potential for some strong thunderstorms, strong to potentially even severe across this region and then as we move over to our Great Lakes region here we are looking at a potentially even more um, intense line especially in um, the northern parts there of uh, Michigan we could be seeing a just about a bow segment actually um, impact the coastal portions there of um, just going down the coast honestly of the um, of uh, Michigan there, so that is a chance we could be seeing some pretty strong thunderstorms there. Now let's take a look at our weather uh, weather prediction center outlook here for flash flooding. We do have a slight risk across much of the uh, northern United States today, and that is in effect all the way from Montana to Minnesota. There, slight risk in effect for those regions. And that's going to wrap up this quick update. Um, if anyone has any further questions about anywhere, um, whether it be tropics related or weather in the United States, please feel free to comment down below in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to find some uh, more information about weather, you can uh, go to my web uh, my website, which is thehurricanehq.org, my Twitter page, which is at thehurricanehq, my Instagram page, which is more for local weather, is at the Hurricane HQ and my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash the Hurricane HQ, which you are watching now. I hope everyone enjoyed the video and I hope everyone has an amazing 4th of July if you live in the United States. Have a great day.